Ja kõige ka toa, a hiiri ja hõnud ja ka tõtjau, kui me me tanni paapi mõõga, kui toki reiti moana nati ka ühte eevi nati taaluste hapu, ko kelle kõige tapu ei mua. Ja nii nga mehi nüüd ka kõige ka toa. I'm just going to, I'm Sam Kelly, uh, on your paper in the earlier programs we had Leonie Matoi um, on um, our, our mate and our tuakana who's been part of our organisation for the past 15 years, um, has recently resigned, um, she's on new adventures connecting back to her iwi, um, so you have to hang out with me today. Um, so I'm currently our pro national program manager, currently our Kaitiaki interim CEO until we get new leadership. So, nga mahi nui I'm going to also introduce you, you know, it's about fun and we hear as a team. <laughs> so. uh, I am from the Waikato and from Ngāpuhi and also work for Toi Tangata and we're going to share a little bit about our kōpapa today. So, kia ora koutou. Right, um, so, so for whānau out there who aren't sure who is Toi Tangata, um, Toi Tangata is a national Māori agency. Uh, we, our parent is Te Hutu Mama Māori Trust and we have a national role around Māori physical activity and nutrition. Um, part of our guiding uh, vision is around Tama Tu Tama Ora through physical well-being we thrive. Uh, tama Tu recognising the physical element of our environment, of food, of movement that contributes to our well-being. <coughs> connecting to Māori, Tapu, Mana and those Māori narratives and mātauranga that also contribute to who we are and our well-being as a people. Um, one of the titles that the only had on here was Māori Solutions to Sugar and um, I just want to acknowledge the rest of the whānau here. There are a number of leaders in the room um, who as Māori contribute to these solutions. And in our cup of teas counts out there, because you know cup of teas always is where the magic happens, um, we recognise we actually don't have one collective Māori solution uh, in terms of addressing sugar. Uh, what we are presenting today is Toy is part of a solution, and one of the widows that over the next few, few months uh, we need to start pulling together uh, those movers and shakers to having some good conversation. Um, and just a big mihi kia koe uh, in terms of bringing us together here today in your leadership and this. Um, so today our kōrero we're sharing about is waiariki and again connecting to Leonie Matoi. She has been part of the fizz uh, whānau and in some of those early hui and around there she's been sitting there thinking, you know there's got to be more to this. We can't just be saying no, you bad Māori, don't you drink sugary drinks. Um, there, there is more, how do we reconnect to our own mātauranga? How do we reconnect to our own stories that have sustained our people for generations? How do we reconnect to not only looking at that element of sugar in, in drinks or in food products, um, but how do we reconnect as a positive approach to the Māori of why and our narratives and our mātauranga about water? And why Araki grew is through that thinking, and it has been led by Leonie, and is Toy Tangata's contribution to the space about how we can start um, putting together and weaving those narratives. So I'm going to keep the Daru who's going to share a bit more about what that looks like. Now, kia ora koutou. Uh, first of all, we're the marathon types, so it's really hard to stand still for this time. Um, so, but we're going to play multiples today. Um, so, kia ora koutou. Yeah, so like um, Kelly was saying, um, this is Toy Tangata's contribution towards um, what we're trying to achieve in this space in and around um, the Modi and the Oranga or um, the things in and around Māori specific knowledge in terms of health and well-being. Um, so what we're trying to achieve through this is providing a platform for Māori communities throughout Aotearoa to have sound data, information and content to be able to contribute towards higher things. Um, and so in this space, that's been brought out of the concept of traditional knowledge and connecting to things, like I said, like a higher being. So we're trying to connect our traditional knowledge into a contemporary setting to make it relevant for us as Māori in the modern day. Um, and it's based on, on a whakapapa process. Um, so whakapapa or genealogy being one of the, the guiding factors in the Māori worldview, we are, we are here because of our whakapapa lines and generations before us. And that is bigger than just people. Um, so when we, when we share this kaupapa or this, this strategy, um, we're talking about 
um, different forms of whakapapa. So um, an example of one is this. Um, so there's an example here that explains kotaua wai ke te moana e pōtere ana, ka hāpai ki te rangi, ka tau ki runga maunga, ka heke ki ngā riu ki ngā awa. It means that the water descends from the heavens. When the water descends from the heavens, it touches the lands, through, flows through the valleys and creeks, through the rivers and back towards the sea. So there's been a process in and around how the water has gotten to us um, as Māori or as people. Um, and what we're trying to do through this is share the concept in and around the modi or the essence and the power that is water. Um, so we're looking in and around the concept of modi and recognising the different elements that can contribute to us <coughs> through our oranga or our well-being. Um, and some of those components can be made together for an individual, for a whanau, for a hapu, for iwi, or even a whole nation to reach our, our potential as people or as men. Um, and we acknowledge that there's a reciprocal relationship between our culture and the way we move, think, eat, and behave. Um, so what we're trying to do through this process of Modi is link in um, different forms of traditional knowledge that we can turn to to guide the next generations in and around Wai. Um, so the next as aspect that we've got in that links into this kaupapa or this strategy is in and around the Modi, the tapu and the mana of Wai. <coughs> um, so the tapu and the sacredness, we see this in many indigenous cultures, in religion, people, the power of water and um, its contribution towards us, not only as a people, um, but a as a nation and um, us as tangata. Um, to Te Iwi Māori specifically, it, had a, it held a significant place, it had a divine whakapapa and it was the only sub um, substance that we inu or drink. So technically, if we were to drink a bottle of coke or a cup of tea or a thing, it's called kai. So you're actually eating that. So it's a, it's a, it's a thinking because our traditional knowledge shows us that Tupuna only drank water. We had no other substances that were in the form of liquids or fluids. Um, and so when we think about this, the water has the ability to uplift tapu and negate its sacredness but it can also in, um, invoke it as well. So as we move in this space in, in terms of thinking around our traditional knowledge and linking it in, we do it through these terms of modi, tapu and mana. Um, so the mana aspect as we go through it is the water is essential to life and to our identity. So as we explain to you guys where we were from in Te Reo, one of the key words in there was why. Why is water. So this links into the waters that we have descended from, whether it be a awa, a moana, a repo. So whether it's your river, lake or spring, we've all come from a specific sort of line of water. So. We're, just, we're not very good at this, um, you know, wa in terms of timing and, and being short. And, <laughs> um, so we've, we've already been given the peace sign and um, we are just a couple of things. In terms of what Dari was saying and then what that looks like in practical lenses, when I think about our kōrero at home, even as I turn on the tap, that why has whakapapa. Have you thought about that? Where is that whakapapa coming from? Um, for me up home, it comes from my water tanks, but the water tanks, of course, come from rain from Rangi For some of our whānau and urban environments, it's come up through, you know, through ground puna, through puna. It still has a whakapapa and that water has journeyed to be able to get into your glass for you to inu, to enable you to have more mori. Um, way out of here, sugar free, we've done a number of opportunities connecting the messages. Um, I've, I've also just watching facials and this around the room. Don't look at our website right now. Um, there has been, um, there must be a virus on it today. I've just seen and I've seen some other people looking at it. Um, so just in the back room we were trying to send it through to our IT to say, don't fix it. Um, there are a number of national Māori of, um, events, opportunities around the country where we can be connecting wide messages again rather than that negative approach of don't drink this how do we fuck them under why it enables whanau to connect to their own kaitiaki to their own stories and then the messages aren't predetermined by us as a national Māori organization but they can grow from those communities and those whanau. Um really quickly even though we're here today and I'm hearing all the kōrero about nutrients and around sugar um, and right down to the fructose list. 
Um, why Ariki is still about us connecting to the bigger picture, back to our environment and our title. There is knowledge within these spaces. They all have different elements of why and water. They all have different whakapapa or genealogy lines. How do we reconnect to that? And potentially in there, there is sustainability, um, which of course is what we're trying to aim for in terms of how do we live for continual, our whakapapa continues. Um, I am going to show this, I know we've, we've gone up, I've already passed the peace sign. Um, I'm going to connect Leo, because Leo was one of the persons who, uh, person who started this concept. Part of Waiariki is also in the physical activity world. How do you, if you, are, if you didn't have a teacher teaching you freestyle, how would you engage in why? How would you move? Um, again for us, how do we reconnect to our knowledge? How do I explore and look in my own kaitiaki? Um, observe the characteristics of those and those um, that flow in water wherever you're from. So we have been re-looking about how do I move in water. One of them is about the eye here, and how do I work this team? Do I just push play? No. Does it work? Is it not going to work? I'll just play. And this is what it would look like in practice. So Leo's been like, connecting with the fuck up of the dog. Oh yeah, it's not good. Can't And why that's relevant is in terms of again, the goal is around the sustainability of our fuck up Connecting to why enables so many more solutions than just for us looking at um, reducing sugar alone. Um, we really appreciate the opportunity to come and it all. We're here for more cup of teas. Um, and if not, check out toitangata.co.nz.